Alright, what's up? It's Sila. Now, welcome back to the second part of the Noglin video, which will be talking about everything to counter Noglins to prevent them from wiping your base. There are actually quite a few methods to counter Noglins, which we will cover in this video. Now, I'm actually recording this after I've released the first part. You can see everything is different, all the backgrounds and everything. I said I was going to release both of them at the same time, but you know, video editing took a bit longer than expected. So I'm releasing this right now to hopefully help you counter all the Noglins. Now, I'll list right here on the screen everything in this video. Just, you know, just one uh, word or two words, you know, just quick intro of everything that you will see in this video with the timestamp. So if you want to see any particular method, you can feel free to skip to that part. I'll leave everything on the screen right now. And if not, let's get straight into it. There are actually quite a few methods, both for offline and online defense against Noglin. So I'm sure you will be able to counter Noglin perfectly after this video. First time I will test is a lightning wyvern. Now, Obviously not the best dino to have it in your base since uh, Camway just got killed by it. But you know, some people use it, so we'll test that as well. Obviously this is not the best counter to a Noggin, they are way better, but maybe it will work. Right, here I am running towards with a loading and run, run, run. As you can see, it does not work. Lightning wyverns are way too slow. You might get it to work sometimes if it's shoot lightning farthest enough, but if it doesn't, then people can simply run one of these tiny brain suckers through your gates. So yeah, uh, would not recommend lightning wyverns. Right, on to the next dino. Next dino will be the uh, Reaper. Give the Reaper a shot. Do you think that can stop a Noglin? Is on turn mode? Yep, aggressive and I'm weighted down. Oh, so basically turn mode. I, there's no way. I'm pretty sure it can't, but we'll give it a shot. The only thing you can do is just run around the Reaper. Yeah, nah. Nah, not <laughs> yeah, even close. It, in smaller caves with the crawl, crawl entrances, it might be able to kick the uh, Noggin back out. Does it C-spin? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, doesn't that? <laughs> okay, it doesn't do that much damage though. Should be fine. Yeah, you can run. Yeah, so you can definitely run through if someone uses a Reaper for defense. So uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Right. Uh, next one. All right. The next thing we'll be testing is, like I said, Beetles. Uh, this is, for me personally, from my previous test, the best dinos to use as defense. Now, obviously, you won't have one Beetle. You have like twenty. So. Whatever you see damage down here is multiplied that by five or six and you should get what an actual base defense would look like to counter against a Noglin against the Beetle tracks, I believe. So like you should be able to kill it. I'm gonna run up to it. There is a Beetle right there. Yep. Yeah, yep. just keep in mind to place your Beetles where they can't uh where they can't get sniped, so Yeah. It's like probably a cage thing that you can build around a beetle. But you can also put it like behind the turret wall so like it can't you know, kill the Noglin as well. So yeah, Velo is definitely one of the best counters to Noglins, uh, in terms of dinos at least. Uh, what next? Alright, so the next test we'll be doing is uh, how to defend against a Noglin using structures. So. Right here we have a Noglin. I'm just going to go in and try to eat the brains off uh, Camway. Right. Where is he? Oh, here it is. Never mind. Come on. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Is my game bugged? There we go. I can't move. Are you encumbered? Yeah, I'm encumbered. Yeah, so uh, if you're encumbered, you can actually counter a Noglin. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, imagine being encumbered and simply having a foundation, like, 
literally this setup and then have your tram mates like build walls around here put place the ceiling and then you can trap the inoculant because the inoculant like jumps back down here and then you can simply trap the inoculant here and then bite it with a gig and kill it uh decent way to uh scam someone to waste their inoculant on you uh yeah also you can't break stuff so right here i cannot break the ceiling and you can see this is a perfectly enclosed generator i can't actually break it like i can't break in because i can't break stuff using a noglin so remove your doors have a thatch wall next to your door where at where your door should be that should be good enough um very good way to counter a noglin simply put a wall in front of your generator free brain dead way as well uh yeah kind of another way and another way like i said in the last video is uh by placing a generator pretty high as you can see Camway placed his generator in a very decent spot and you can't actually switch it off using an Auckland because you can't fly on tech chests uh, while you're processing someone and you also can't use a grappling core so if you don't want to have doors you know simply place it high also prevents people from uh, placing C4 because if the enemy player has a C4 out then they can actually place it and detonate it so blow this generator up but they can't blow that generator up because it is quite high in the air so definitely go into counter um, using either perfectly enclosed generators or having right here very high generators and of course if you want you can um, try to trap the noglins in by having an encumbered player standing on top of a structure on top of a foundation and simply placing walls around it knocking them out knocking whatever out so yeah kind of decent way to counter knocking all right as you can see here we have a um, bear trap and also a plant species why now noglin can actually be um trapped by both as you can see right here and also um, it can be trapped by the plant species why going to take quite a bit to demolish as well so we're not getting knocked out anytime soon there we go and it can be trapped by a plant species why However, in reality, you can't really counter Noglin just by using bear traps or plant Y, because Noglin has a really good jumping range, and if people know how to control it, you're not trapping them with a um, bear trap or a plant Y. As you can see, a single leap can leap through basically eight bear traps, so you would need quite a number of bear traps in a cave or whatever if you want to completely stop a Noglin. Probably not worth it. As you can see there, those plant wire also was not able to trap the noglin so yeah uh i don't think these are really that good of a counter to noglins but again it doesn't hurt to place a few here and there again plant wire are not that visible bear traps you can sometimes hide them in bushes and stuff like that as well so you might be able to uh, trap a noglin just because people can't see it instead of being able to jump uh like being able to trap it because people are not able to jump over it so yeah definitely place a few around your base but don't expect them to be able to stop a noglin just by themselves right so here's the next counter for a noglin what you want to do is you want to put a dino that you know people on a noglin would want to possess and you want to fully overweight it now this stego here is overweight the stego is overweight right yes the stego is overweight and ready to go all right now stego is overweight i'm going to jump onto it and as you can see, the stego is overweight. I can't move. Top right hand corner, completely overweight. I can't move a thing. I can still hit things, but I can't actually move the stego to where I want to go. So I can't kill stuff around me. The other thing is, you have to be right next to the noglin in order to actually remove the noglin from the stego. So you are stuck in this stego for a full two minutes without the ability to actually do anything. And in a bit, I'm going to show you why exactly this is so broken. Um, this, this counter to a noglin yeah right now i'm just going to cut to the other um, counter to a um, noglin which involves waiting the dino afterwards 
All right, so as I've shown, you can overweight a dyno controlled by a noglin, and there's no way for you to actually detach from that dyno. Now, this is by far the best counter to noglins, the best active counters to noglins. So if you see people with a noglin in your base fucking everything up, this is how you counter it, right? Listen carefully. You have a dyno that the noglin is going to control. Now, I am going on the stego, and Camway here is going to overweight it. So I'm going to quickly jump onto the stego. Right, Camway has overweighted it. Now what you want to do is set the Giga on aggressive and go over to your stego and remove the Noglin from the stego. As an enemy player, you can actually remove the Noglin from the um, stego. And then that would allow the Giga to instantly kill the Noglin. There is no escape from this counter. As a Noglin controller there's no way you can get out of this situation alive because you yourself cannot detach from the noglin and you cannot move away from the giga because the giga is on aggressive so it only takes one person literally one person set the giga on aggressive facing the head of the dino the noglin is on overweight the noglin remove the noglin instantly kill you don't have to catch a ant running around your base simply wait until it you know get into a dino and then you can instantly kill it by using this method. So this is by far the best counter to Noglin that I think is going to ever exist. There could be new ones, but I feel like this one is a decent enough defense, especially if you're online and trying to defend your base actively against a Noglin. But yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I hope this video will help you defend against Noglin. Noglin has been a plague on many servers, including mine. And... Uh, yeah, hopefully that after this video, you will not have to fear Noglin anymore. Have Velo, have an internal Giga, you know, have someone who's online and knows this method. Be sure to share this video with your trimates so that they know how to solo counter a Noglin. Basically using encumbering a Noglin, um, control dinos, having a Giga on aggressive, and then removing the Noglin from the dino by holding E and... Um, holding on to the remove key yeah this is basically it for this video i hope it helps if you think it did leave a sub if you have any questions leave a comment all that crap you know what to do but yeah i'll see all legends in the next one peace out